Are you also dreaming to become a doctor in Canada? Well, your journey starts with the MCCQE Part 1 exam. But wait, is it really that hard? Don't worry, in this video, I'll break it down into a simple and proven study plan to help you pass on your first attempt. Let's go and start the video. Alright, let's start with the basics. What is MCCQE Part 1? It's a licensing exam conducted by the Medical Council of Canada and passing it is a big step towards becoming a doctor in Canada. It's a computer-based test that checks clinical decision-making, medical knowledge, emergency management, and ethics and professionalism. Think of it as a Canadian version of USMLE Step 2 clinical knowledge, but it also tests some public health and legal aspects that you need to learn to practice medicine in Canada. Okay, let's talk about the structure. What will you face in the exam? It's a one-day exam divided into two sections. Section 1 contains 115 multiple choice questions with the duration of 160 minutes and it covers key medical disciplines including family medicine, surgery, pediatrics, internal medicine, psychiatry and ob -GYN. Section 2 contains 115 multiple choice questions with the duration of 160 minutes and it continues testing foundational medical knowledge and clinical decision making. And now let's discuss some key changes in MCCQE Part 1 exam. First, no more clinical decision making cases. The exam only contains multiple choice questions now. And second, you also get optional 45 minutes break between the two sections. And now let's discuss about the eligibility criteria for the MCCQE Part 1 exam for international medical graduates in 2025. First, you must be an international graduate with a recognized degree. Second, your medical school must be listed in the World Directory of Medical School. And third, you don't need to complete residency before applying. If we talk about exam location, the exam is available worldwide at Prometric Exam Centers or online with remote monitoring. The exam fees for the MCCQE Part 1 exam is 1470 Canadian dollars that is 88200 Indian rupees approximately. All right, now let's discuss about the best books and resources to help you pass the MCCQA Part 1 exam on your first attempt. First, Torrento Notes is some must have. It's the gold standard for MCCQE Part 1 and it covers all core subjects. Second, Canada QBank. Best for practice questions. It contains 2000 plus multiple choice questions and clinical decision making cases, though you might not need it in 2025. It helps you get familiar with the real exam format. Third, UWorld Step 2 Clinical Knowledge. It covers clinical reasoning and diagnosis. Useful for MCCQE Part 1 preparation despite being designed for USMLE. Fourth, first aid for USMLE Step 2 clinical knowledge, perfect for quick revision of high yield topics. Fifth, online courses that boost your score. First, I will recommend MCCQE Essentials by Canada Q Bank, and the second one is MCCQE Crash Course on Lecturio. Both can help you pass the examination on your first attempt. And now, let's talk strategy. How do you plan efficiently? Here's a study plan that works. Week 1st and 2nd read Toronto Notes plus start MCQs. Week 3rd and 4th finish all MCQs in Canada Q Bank. Week 5 revise week areas plus do additional MCQs for reinforcement. And week 6 full length mock exams plus final review. Before we wrap up, I want to tell you biggest mistakes international medical graduates make and how you can avoid them. First, memorization instead of conceptual learning. MCCQE Part 1 is all about applying medical knowledge, not about memorizing lists. Second, skipping practice questions. Multiple choice questions make up 100% of your score. Practice as many as possible. Third, not taking full length mock exams. Simulate the exam to build endurance and improve time management. Fourth, procrastinating until the last month. At least six weeks of dedicated prep is needed. 
and that's it for the video guys i hope you liked it and found it informative and if you did please press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content ahead if you have any doubts regarding a topic please do ask us on the comments below we'll be very happy to answer that also there are some useful links in the description box so do check them out and if you want to check out our previous video that we created on how to become a doctor in canada and we have discussed all five pathways that are verified to become a doctor in canada you can that is also available on the description box so check that out as well i'll be seeing you in the next one till then bye bye